Well, I'm going to talk a little bit today about staying shallow all year. And as it feels this morning, it feels like you should be fishing shallow out there. This morning, it's about 20 degrees. But, uh, you know, uh, a couple things for me personally that has, you know, I'm considered a shallow water fisherman. Uh, I grew up on the Arkansas River on the southern end of the Arkansas River. So when I learned to fish, all the fishing was shallow. And um, another reason for that, once I started fishing all over the country, it was always easier for me to figure it out. We'd have a day, day or two of practice, and uh, I never have been one much on pre-fishing, uh, just not because it, it works for a lot of guys. It never worked for me. I tried it early on in my career, and it didn't work. So, But it was just easier for me to figure out fish quickly, shallow. You know, one of the drawbacks to fishing shallow is typically you're not fishing for the sheer numbers of fish. You know, the, the big, probably the big cycle over the last few years is, of course, our electronics have gotten so good. Uh, the mapping systems of the lakes, the topo maps, the, there's so much knowledge out there that has a lot of people have wanted, you know, like to fish out now or like to fish deep. And the big reason for that is, is so they can pull up on one place and, you know, and catch 50 on 50 cast. And, uh, and probably, you know, the deal with that was when all of this technology first got out there, the mapping, uh, uh, again, our electronics are so good now. There were a lot of places that had that were secret, and uh, over time, really the last three or four years, it's hard to find a school of fish out anywhere that nine other people don't have a waypoint for. As far as winter time goes, fishing shallow to me, it's another simple time. It kind of goes back to that deal about looking for the uh, the 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 bluff deal. You know, the deal is now, I'll, if I want to catch fish shallow in the wintertime, and I do that a lot because I, that to me they're a, real easy. They don't move around a lot. Once you find them in the wintertime shallow, they'll be there. Um, but the deal is it's typically something channel-oriented. I like the, the, my favorite place to fish on a reservoir, on a reservoir, uh, in the wintertime, is I'll go, and I will tell you, it, 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 it took me a while uh, when I started tournament fishing to, to learn how to practice for a four day event. I would start off out the gate and the, my first couple years as a, as, as, as a pro fisherman, I led a lot of events on the first or second day and then I would go away. And uh, because the deal was I, I, I knew how to practice, I'd go out there and find five big ones. That's all I needed to find because I had grown up tournament fishing these one day events and that's what it's all about. Figure out how to catch five big ones, it doesn't matter. You know, it ain't about catching 50, it ain't about catching 100, it's about catching five big ones. And so I, I, I wouldn't practice right. And so a lot of our events can be won by grinding it out over four days, where most local events, you gotta blow it out in one day. You got one shot at it and then it's over. You can't get better. That's one of the advantages to fishing, you know, our events, because they last four days. So as long as I'm in the hunt, and start to piece the puzzle together. Because another thing that I ran into, I would have everything figured out by the second day of practice, so I was ready to fish the tournament. Well, then I, had a, I would start off with one, maybe one big day, two big days, and then it would fall apart. And another thing that I realized was I, I was getting too dialed in. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things that bash you that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.